Hey guys, in today's video I am going to be doing a sample test of the Hourglass Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Now this foundation is a hella expensive. It retails for $86 here in Australia. So instead of splurging right away, I picked up some samples to test out and that way I can make a decision whether or not it's worth investing my money in. So if you're in the same boat and want to see my first impressions and thoughts on this foundation, then give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. All right, so some details real quickly. This foundation comes in 32 shades and it is described as a rich liquid foundation that glides on weightlessly with full coverage. And it says that you only need half a pump to achieve this as well. It claims to be long wearing, sweat proof, waterproof and fade proof. They are a lot of really good claims and I'm liking the sounds of it. So instead of just testing it out today, I think I'll also wear it to work because when I'm at work, I do get hot and sweaty. So that'll really put it to the test to see whether or not it lasts. For reference, I have a neutral to cool undertone and my skin type is normal to combination. I do get a little oily throughout my T-zone, but then am prone to dryness around any breakouts. So I picked up two shades to test out. The first one is, is it Blanc? It's not blank. That sounds too Aussie. Blanc. And this one is for fairer skin with a cool undertone. And then I also picked up cream, which is described for very fair skin with a cool undertone. There is a shade called porcelain, which is for neutral undertones, but it is quite dark. So I didn't even bother getting a sample of that shade. Wow, this was a really bad spot to swatch. <laughs> so this shade here is Blanc and this shade is cream. I think I might actually mix them together because they both just seem a little off. Blanc is probably a closer match, but it does look very, very white. I'm not going to use a primer as it's not suggested. I've just moisturized my skin really well, which is recommended. I'm going to dot this around my face, working in sections, and to blend it out, I'm going to use a Kabuki brush, as they do suggest using their brush to get a full coverage. On the Mecca website, they actually have a video showing you how different tools can be used to get different finishes from full to diffused to luminous and targeted coverage. So this foundation does sound like it's a real all-rounder. All right, so I've just dipped my finger in the shade Blanc and I'm going to dot that on my cheek here. I'm just going to start out with this shade and see how it goes. If it's too light, I'll mix in some of the shade Cream. Ooh, yeah, that's light. I'm also not going to color correct any of my breakouts just so we can really see how good the coverage is. Okay, so that is definitely too fair. I feel like it's making me look very ghostly. The coverage, I don't know, isn't that good? Like I can still see all my scars peeping through. Okay, so I've now got some of the shade cream and I'm just going to dot that around and let's blend that in. I usually like to pat my foundation in, but I think this one requires a little bit of buffing because you do only need a little bit and you need it to go a long way. So that coverage I would say is like a medium you can still see these two really big breakouts on my chin. I'm going to zoom you in and complete the rest of my face. I think I'm going to mostly use cream, maybe with a little bit of the Blanc shade. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like blended out. I'm pretty happy with it. The coverage is definitely more of a medium 
it's not full yet and it's hard to determine how much I've actually used because I don't have the bottle and I'm just dipping my finger into a sample but I'd probably say one pump I definitely used a lot more than what they do on the video on Mecca's website it does look really nice though it's got a beautiful luminous finish which I'm actually shocked about I thought it was going to be more matte but it looks really nice hopefully you can see my skin Looking glowy. I've just turned my brightness down a bit so you can get a close up. So usually I would put some more coverage on these pimples, a little bit more on my cheeks, down here. I think it's sitting really nicely on my skin though. I am going to go in with a little bit more though and see how it builds up. All right, so the foundation does build quite well. I'm still not getting total coverage on these breakouts, but I think the rest of my skin looks really nice. If I were to use it again, I would color correct my bigger breakouts. It is clinging a little bit to a breakout I have on my nose here. And I feel like if I were to heavily set my face with powder, it could become quite dry looking. So I might just give it a couple of minutes and see how it sets down. When I swatched the two shades, I didn't think that cream would be the better option, but it definitely is. Blanc is just way too fair. Overall, it's feeling really lightweight. I'm happy with the coverage and the finish. So I'm going to complete the rest of my face and I'll give you a little update once I'm done. Okay, so I have finished my makeup and I am really liking the look of this foundation. I end up powdering my T-zone and my chin, but I didn't powder my cheeks and everything applied over the top really beautifully. And I never not powder, like I always powder, so. Mm -hmm. All right, I will give you a close up of what the foundation looks like and then I'll be back at the end of the day to give you some more updates. So in my nose here is where it was a little bit dry on that breakout. As you can see, definitely a medium coverage. You can still see some of my redness, especially over on this side. But I think it looks really good. Okay, so it has been five hours now since I have been wearing the foundation and it's not holding up as good as I thought it would. Let me zoom you in. So I only set my forehead, my nose, under my eyes and my chin. I didn't set my cheeks and it has come off here a bit. I was kind of laying on a pillow doing some editing. So that's come off. My four month old niece was just over as well and she was grabbing at my face a fair bit. So I feel like that, like it's come off my nose a bit where she was touching and a little bit on my chin. It looks really dry and cakey around this breakout. I did put a few layers there though, so that could be why. And I do think I'm looking quite glowy, like not so much oily, but I can definitely tell that, you know, it's starting to come through. All right, well, that is all for today's testing. I will wear it to work over the next couple of days and be back to give you an update then. All right, so day two of testing. I have had the foundation on for almost eight hours now and it's holding up pretty damn well. So around my nose here is looking a little bit oily. I do think that I could blot, but it doesn't look really bad. It's just kind of like a bit of a glow. So that's good. It is starting to get a little bit funny around my chin and my mustache area. I'll zoom in and show you that but my forehead and my cheeks all look pretty good. So you can see how it's a bit shiny just here and don't mind my dry lips. Oh my God, the weather has changed. We're in a new season, are we? We're autumn, yeah. <laughs> We're in autumn and literally two days in, my lips chapped. And so this is what my chin's looking like. See how it's breaking up a little bit there? Let me just blot. Yeah, see that looks better. Just get rid of a little bit of that shiny look. Also today I set my entire face with powder. So cheeks, chin, nose, everywhere. I think that's definitely helped with 
the longevity. All right, well, that is foundation test day two. I will see you tomorrow. Day two of testing the foundation and I've had it on for almost 12 hours. And so my forehead, under my eyes, my cheeks look really good. My mustache and my chin. Before I start really critiquing it though, 12 hours is a very long time for me personally to be wearing a foundation and I don't expect it to be absolutely perfect after such a long period of time. All right, so you can see all on my mustache and around my nose here, it has faded and it wasn't that hot today. The temperature has really dropped here in Queensland. So it's not like I was sweating all day like I usually am. So along here is just the way it's naturally faded throughout the day and on my chin here as well. I still think my forehead and my cheeks look really nice though. Halfway through the day, I did end up blotting my face because I was looking a little bit shiny. So besides the fact that it has faded around my mouth and just kind of breaking up on my chin, I think it's lasted pretty well. All right, well, I really need to take this off now. So I will be back soon to talk about my final thoughts and to let you know if I will be purchasing the full size bottle. All right, so I have had a shower and have gathered my thoughts. I'll start with the pros of this foundation. I really liked the finish of this foundation. It wasn't too matte, which was nice. It blended out really easily with the brush and didn't leave a lot of streak marks and it felt super lightweight on the skin. The coverage was good. It was more of a medium to full, I would say. And then the cons. Firstly, there's the color match. Neither of those two shades perfectly matched me. I was mixing them to get my correct shade. Next is the longevity. I'm, I'm kind of in two minds about it. I felt like it looked quite nice on my forehead and my cheeks but the way it lasted around my nose and my chin just was not good. It broke up so easily on my chin and after probably seven hours, so. I also got quite oily throughout the day and I don't have oily skin, I would say. So I did have to blot around my nose and under my eyes here. And for long days, I'm just, I don't have time to be blotting, okay? So overall, I do think that this was a nice foundation and I'm glad I tried it, but I will not be purchasing the full size bottle. The way it performed on my skin just wasn't anything outstanding. So I definitely don't think it's worth splurging the money on, especially the fact that I would have to buy two shades. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on the foundation. And if you tried it, how does it work on your skin? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new and hopefully I see you all in the next one. Bye!